Okay. Um, I'm gonna show you guys subs and functions and the differences. Because when I learned, I didn't really know the difference because I didn't really learn much about functions. But later, I started understanding it more. And well, yeah, I'll show you guys. Okay. Let's just start with a sub. It's I think it's simpler, and it'll help me show you guys the differences. So, there's no errors here. We have, hello. And we're gonna have it say... Hello. And I'm putting a space after hello. You'll see, you, you'll see by it here. There's actually no reason if you... Well, you don't have to put that space, but I just put it there because... Because I'm gonna add on to it later. And... Well, you'll see. Um, so, in main, we'll put hello. I'm working with a console application. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Because, so we don't have to worry about putting buttons in places. So this is the only code that runs. All this is ignored. Well, it's not ignored, but this is main code. That's what's main. That's what the main thing can be. It's just going to say hello. There. Um, so, I did that. Um, by Val. Mm, there's a description right here too. Specifies that an argument is passed in such a way that the called procedure or property cannot change the underlying. Well, that was great. It just disappeared. Basically, it's just giving you like a value for an argument. You guys will see right now. Um, optional. We're gonna make it optional, and basically. I'll show you the difference between the optional and not optional right now. Um, so we're gonna name it name as string. So all of a sudden we have an error here because it's missing name. There needs to be a name there as a string. So if we put Bob, then there won't be an error. Let's take out Bob and make this optional. Um, I have to, uh, sorry, never mind. Just forget the whole optional thing. I was going to do this thing, but I forgot. I'm working with something else, so. Um, yeah, hello, and name of Bob. It's not going to do anything right now because it's not doing anything. Yeah, that made sense. Alright, um, hello plus name. That, that's what it's going to say. It's going to write hello and then the name. So right now, name is just a value, but in here, the argument for the name is Bob, so that's what the name is going to be, it's going to be Bob. And so it should say, hello, Bob. And that is why I put the space there, otherwise it would just be, hello, Bob, hello, Bob. And that's not a word, I had to separate the two words with the space. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much the sub. Now, return is almost the same thing but a bit different oh did I say return I'm sorry I mean function function the difference is the returning and there's there possibly is more differences but that's the main thing that you guys will see here so let's name this function name I mean hello same as last time and all of a sudden, after just doing this, we have an error. It's a warning, actually. Um, it says, function hello doesn't return a value on all code paths, blah, 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 blah. Um, I'll show you guys this right here. Return. If you return zero, then that's a value. You can return anything, practically. We're going to return a string. Strings have to have... Whenever you're using a string or text, it has to be in quotation marks, or I think, yeah, quotation marks, so, um, return Bob, I guess. And so, in our subroutine, we were, we had inside for it to, all the subroutines were console dot write line and what we wanted it's write and console dot read line and that was the whole subroutine and this is a function so it's smaller than a subroutine um, 
so I keep saying um I'm sorry. Well now here we're on the console dot right line. You're probably thinking this is more work. Well in a way it is. But here we're gonna put inside console dot right line hello. And console dot read line. So this is how you're calling it. You're calling it inside console dot right line. That is not the only way you can do it. You can also do hello plus. We're gonna actually we're gonna do it the other way. Out. We're gonna put uh, before I get into that more advancedness. I'm actually just gonna show you this. Show you that it works. It's just gonna say Bob. Here in console dot right line we can have it say hello as a string and add it to hello. Um, we're gonna can put the space. So now it should say hello plus the function which returns the value Bob. Now we can put you now we can make this sort of like our subroutine here. It's still gonna be in main console dot right line hello, but we're not gonna have to type hello if we add a ver a value in here an argument, have it name as string by val name as string. Um, change the return to hello and add it to name. Oh, what was that? So now we have an error here again because there's no arguments. Um, as an argument, we're gonna put Bob. Oops, Bobby. Mm. I don't know who that is, but it sounds familiar. Actually, I'm just put Bobby. Oh, is that Bobby? Oops, Bobby. All right. Oh, sorry. It needs to be in quotation marks because it's a stream. And so it's console dot right line hello with its own arguments of Bobby and hello Bobby. Now I hope you kind of understood this. Basically, a function is returning, hence return, is returning a value. Why? While sub is actually it has a its code is a full list of subroutines. Um, it's a subroutine. Uh, I can't explain this. It's a full. It's like a list of code that you want it to do, and then you can just call it. A sub is useful, and so is a function. I think a sub could be more useful, but it all depends on what you're doing. So you just need to some way incorporate these functions and subs into your work. And that concludes this tutorial. And thank you for watching. Um, subscribe.